and they say Esau Pippen Cruz or Jose Rayo Venezuela, they said that could be a headliner. Yeah. They say Andrew Ruiz drew up Big Baby Miller could be a headliner. Yeah. They say even D- David Morrell could potentially and Hot and Hot Rod could potentially be a headliner. Yeah. Well, Bud is a star because even with all these potential headliners, he's the headliner. With a po- and and relatively unknown opponent in Israel Majma. That's why he's that's why he's a star. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and your Empress guy to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So today, man, you know, you know, we have the big card coming up, man. August 3rd. You know, Riyadh season has invaded America. You bomb back! You bomb back! You bomb back! You bomb back! You know, United States of America, man, you know, it's happening, it's going down in Los Angeles, man, LA, with the big card with Terrence Crawford going against Madrimov, and that's that's the headliner, right? But a lot of people are saying, man, old Terrence Crawford, you know, arguably pound for pound number one. He may have a number two or maybe number three, you know what I'm saying? Depends on what order. It's interchangeable between Alexander Usyk, uh, Naya Inouye, and Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, they all share the the, the, the amazing and phenomenal accomplishment and accolade of being a two-time undisputed, you know what I'm saying? A piece. So you can have it either one that you want in, in whatever order, you know, it's okay. But um, yeah, you could argue that he's number one and he's headlining that card, man, and people are saying man you know for somebody that's a pound for pound star you know he's um his his star his star power is coming into question a lot lately man, i'm gonna sit on this swing real quick man we gonna swing we gonna talk yes sir grown man on the swing what do you mean by that um but yeah man so um you know i think that uh people are you know rightfully so questioning his star power i guess if you want to just look surface level but you know um they're saying oh man if he's a star then why is the ticket sales so low? Because the ticket sales are apparently struggling, you know, and I think that there's there's a multitude of reasons for that to potentially happen, you know, and and, and very few of them have to do with his star power. You know, he's a star. Let's get that out the way right now for all you haters out there. Terrence Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford out of Omaha, Nebraska is a star. You know why he's a star? Because I just I just gave you one reason right there. He's from Omaha, Nebraska. How many places do you know? How, how, how many boxers do you know where they were born? Do you know where the, do you know where the, uh, the location of where they were born? How many boxers? Every single one of them that you know, unless unless you're just following them, you know, uh, 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 since since they're from your hometown or something like that, you probably don't know where they're from. So that's that's indicative of right there. So when he's a star, number one, that's number one. So now this is where the question comes because it's, because his ticket sales are, are a little bit lackluster. You might say, well, you know, he, this is a big card, you know, phenomenal card has so many people on it. Why is why is why is it not selling? Well, because one reason. It's because of the ticket sales. I mean, because of the ticket prices, excuse me. Uh, these are kind of high. You know, I think it's a good price because I'm a boxing purist and a pugilist enthusiast. So I'm familiar with all the fighters that they have there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think that is that it might be worth the price, but I'm not going because I'm in Florida. You know, it is happening on the other coast, on the opposite coast. It's happening in Los Angeles. So I won't be attending. But look at the ticket price right here, man. The cheapest price on the on this ticket sales. And and the and the picture the 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 uh, the map of the arena it has it for one thirty five or one thirty two excuse me so that's the cheapest ticket and, and a lot of people aren't willing to buy that that's number one um, so maybe it's the ticket prices that that's a problem for the ticket sales being so low number two the location man the the mec the boxing mecca of uh, of United States is what Las Vegas right they, some people consider Las Vegas the, the boxing mecca of the world you know and then Riyadh you know Big Turk has had something to say about that we try to establish Riyadh as the mecca but right now it's considered Las Vegas it's not happening in Las Vegas. It's not even happening in Omaha. Hell, it's happening in California. And you know who's from California? Andy Ruiz. So Andy Ruiz is on the card to help boost the sales and stuff like that. And people argue that Andy Ruiz could be a headliner by himself. You know, with with Jarrell with Jer- Big Baby Miller. So if you have somebody that's capable of being a headliner with you, and the t- ticket sales are still not selling like that, that's indicative of other folks' lack of star power as well. You know, to try to help them out and. California is not a big uh, Los Angeles. You know, a lot of big fights. There's been some big fights there in the past, but that's what people think of a, a big fight location or a locale. You don't really go to Los Los Angeles, so Los Angeles could be a reason why the ticket sales are lackluster. Um, and it's 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 not just Bud Star Power. Number two, I mean, sorry, number three, it could be Israel Madrimov. Once again, sometimes we have to separate ourselves from our own. Uh, a niche if you will boxing is a niche sport right so because we may be familiar with everybody on the card you know like i said not too many people even are familiar with andrew ruiz he hasn't been in the ring in what two three years right so 
So a lot of people, if you're not a boxing pugilist, if, if you're not a pugilist enthusiast or a boxing purist, if you're just a casual, you probably don't even know who Andy Ruiz is. You probably don't even know he beat Anthony Joshua. You know, and you might only know him as the person that beat Anthony Joshua. Let's go to David Morrell. I think David Morrell is an up and coming superstar. You know what I'm saying? In, in boxing, uh, pound for pound, future pound for pound guy out of, out of Cuba. How many people know him? He only has 10 fights. You see what I'm saying? Um, who else is on the card? Esau Pippo Cruz. A lot of people only, only know him as the guy that didn't get knocked out by Tank. You see what I'm saying? And let's think about He's fighting Jose Rayo Valenzuela. Nobody knows that he beat Chris Colbert. And, and nobody knows that he lost to Chris Colbert. Nobody knows that he lost to Edward De Los Santos because they probably don't remember Edward De Los Santos. If they do remember him, they just remember him as being uh, uh, the, uh, the dance partner for Shakur's worst performance. You see what I'm saying? So we got to consider these things. But I will say this. You know, let's go back to Israel Majumov, another guy who has 10 fights. We know Israel Majumov. He's a champion, so I respect that. Junior middleweight, you know, 10 fights, being a champion. But a lot of his, a lot of his, um, his credibility comes from the amateur ranks, you know what I'm saying? And, and he's well, he's well deserving of this, and he's well deserving of this opportunity and to be on this big stage. But the typical American boxing consumer does not know him, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's part of the reason too. And that this is, and you, you, your, 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 your rebuttal would be, oh well, Bud should be able to sell it because he's the man, right? He's a star. Well, if Bud wasn't a star, all these guys that I named, and they say Esau Pippo Cruz or Jose Rayo Venezuela, they said that could be a headliner. Yeah. They say Andrew Ruiz drew up Big Baby Miller could be a headliner. Yeah. They say even Dave. Dave Morrell could potentially and hot and hot rod could potentially be a headliner. Yeah. Well, Bud is a star because even with all these potential headliners, he's the headliner with a po- and and relatively unknown opponent in Israel Majumov. That's why he's that's why he's a star. Now, this is where people it's like they have no sense of it's like people can't put things in context. It's like you're either a super, super Nova star like Canelo or you're not a star. Or you're a super, super star like Anthony Joshua or Javante Take Davis or you're not a star at all. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the case, bro. There's there's different levels of stardom. Ter- Terrence Bud Crawford is a star. He's not a mega star, meaning he's not a crossover star. We just seen him most recently go into WWE, right? So that was his attempt of being a crossover star. And it, I thought it was pretty pretty dope and pretty successful. And I'm not even a big wrestling fan like that. I stopped watching wrestling in the Attitude Era with uh, The Rock and Stone Cold in them. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh my God! But um, the fact that he's doing that coming out of his shell, it's, 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 it's indicative of him, you know, trying to trying to become that supernova star, that mega star that we want him to be like a Canelo. But he's not there yet. But that's the thing that I, I love to make references and cross references of other sports. Right. It's like it's like go to basketball. Right. LeBron is a superstar. He's a mega star. He's an MVP. So is uh, Steph Curry. You see him on commercials and, and, and other things, even in movies and stuff like that. But does that mean because. Paul George isn't as big of a star as them. Does that mean Paul George is not a star at all? Well, absolutely he is because we cared about his free agency. Similarly to Shakur Stevenson, right? How many fighters in the boxing world do you care where they're going to sign next? You don't know where people... A lot of people you don't even know that are champions. You don't even know if they're signed with Matchroom, PBC, uh, Queensberry, the top rank, etc. But you are worried about where Shakur is going to sign, right? Because you're interested in his career. He's a star. Now, is he a superstar like Canelo? No, but there's different levels of stardom, bro. So that's what I'm trying to tell... Try to get my point across that Terrence Bud Crawford, due to his personality or lack of personality, you know, if you will, um, he's not... He's, he's very reserved. He's very conservative. He doesn't really get in trouble like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's a stand-up dude and he goes to the boxing ring and handles business i think he's like what 11 he's on 11 ko streak right now um so he handles his business he is what we expect him to be it's just that he just doesn't have he's not very personable you know um so if you want to say he's not a star like that because you won't you may not see him in movies or commercials then yeah you know say that but the, but the question is star power because of something as whimsical as ticket sales it's like bros you, I, I told y'all y'all those of y'all that rock with me man y'all know i don't even like to discuss the the the, the, the sale numbers or the the economics of boxing because i feel like the people that do that they're just haters at at, at, at the at the core of their person and you know what i'm saying at the core of their being they, they bring up the sales or lack of sales to really emphasize uh um the deficiency of a fighter that they don't like. You know what I'm saying? They they, they try to highlight and, and and usually use it to big up another fighter that they like. Like, for example, they say, oh, Terrence Crawford ain't a star. Like, he can't even sell. That's why Canelo was a star because no matter who he fights or or he look, look, Terrence Crawford's not a star. He can't even sell. That's why he, he won't even do as much numbers as Gervonta and Ryan Garcia. That- <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. That's what they use it for. You know what I'm saying? At the core of you, you're a hater. Terrence Crawford is a star. Terrence Crawford was selected by Big Turk, who's trying to, who, 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 whose endeavor is to take over boxing and establish a universal boxing, sanctioned body for boxing, you know what I'm saying? Or the universal organization or boxing league, if you will. And guess who we checked, who we selected as the ambassador? For him on his behalf in the in the boxing realm, he selected Terrence Bud Crawford. That means that's indicative of you being a star. It, when he when he made his first endeavor to 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 come out and make a card, a huge card like this on August third in in America, his first one. Guess who he chose to headline it? Terrence Bud Crawford. That means he is a star. Now is he a mega star? No. Th- does that mean that he's gonna sell any arena on God's green earth? No. Does that mean that he's gonna um. He, he, he's he's going to be able to be in every commercial or be everywhere you want to be? Probably not. But the question is, star power is crazy. This man's on the pound for pound list. This man has, uh, he, he does have some endorsements. You know what I'm saying? He's being interviewed uh, on, on, on every freaking podcast. Shoot, tell him to come holler at me on my podcast because I'd like to have him oh. because I think he's a star. You know what I'm saying? And I think anybody who questions that, I think they have some nefarious, they have some de- de- nefarious intent, malicious intent, you know what I'm saying? Hateful intent, you know what I'm saying? So I just think that people are corny. And um, yeah, is he, is he the biggest star in boxing? No. Is he a crossover star? Probably not. Is he a mainstream star? Absolutely not. But to question his star power in boxing, there's not too many bigger than than than, than, than Terrence Crawford. So, you know, outside of Canelo, outside of Javante Tate Davis, outside of Anthony Joshua, and probably if you want to say Ryan Garcia's cheating ass, if you want to put him up there too, outside of them and maybe now you're in a way, it's, it's Terrence Crawford. So, so you know how many boxers there are? So if you could be the top 10 star power, how are you not a star? That just means that you're the biggest star, but you are a star. So, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up real quick, man, and tell these people, like, just think a little bit, man. Get a, get get out your hating shell. You know, I know it's difficult, you know, to remove yourself from yourself because you're a hater. But, yeah, man, just just just, just acknowledge the real the, the realistic aspect of the world, man. You know, I, there's a there's a there's a way to dis- I know it's hard for some people to discern between. Uh, 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 levels of things they just it's either black or white you know what I'm saying there's no gray area well there's a lot of gray area so you could be a superstar that you could be a you know what I'm saying you could be you could be a mega star you could be just a star you could be an unknown you could be uh, you know a, 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 a mediocre attraction but no nah, he's, he's definitely a star man so that, that, that's not a question I think this card is phenomenal I'm gonna watch it but like I said man uh, boxing purists you know we know everybody on the card but a lot of people don't know the people that Terrence Bud Crawford's fighting. They don't know the people on the undercard. They don't know Esau Pippa Cruz and how good of a fight that's going to be with Valenzuela. They don't know Martin Bacoli and Jerry B. Baby Anderson, even though he's the heavyweight uh, of America, Jerry B. Baby Anderson, you know what I'm saying? They don't know Jarrell Miller and Andrew Ruiz. Both have PDs in, in, the, in their past. You know, Andrew Ruiz having a long layoff. Jarrell B. Baby Miller losing to Dubois most recently. They don't know these guys. Andy Cruz having a, having a large amateur pedigree, having an extensive amateur background and pedigree. He's going against Antonio Moran, who's probably most famous for being stopped by Devin Haney. So they don't know these things. Things, you know what I'm saying? And, and the casuals in every sport, in every facet of life, you know what I'm saying? They're the ones that make up the majority of the sales, you know, say whether it's ticket sales, whether it's uh, a pay-per-view purchases for, fi- for fight parties. It's like, even if you watch the NFL, man, you think the people that are going to the Super Bowl parties or even attending the Super Bowl, you think they watch weeks one through 16? No. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's, that's not how it goes, man. The people that are watching the, um, the, the finals in the NBA, you think the majority of them watch games one through 82? No, they didn't, bro. They, you know, so that's that's how it is. So people turn up for the big events. This is a big event, and it might not be as big as um, um, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. You know, what I'm saying from a, from an attraction standpoint, it may not be as big as uh, as uh, as uh, um, Tank versus Ryan Garcia. But please believe, this is a big event for boxing, man. And and Terrence Crawford is a boxing star. May not be a mainstream star, but definitely a boxing star. That's it for the doctor, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with me as always, man. Hit that like button, you know what I'm saying? But most importantly, don't forget, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.